Good morning friends. Again we will start off with the with our basic excel session and uh, today we will be discussing the advanced sum functions. Now for the advanced sum functions we will be starting off with the sum if function. Now very very rightly said that uh, sum is only an addition of numbers in a particular set. But when we add a particular if to the sum then it requires certain criteria or certain conditions. So whenever we will be using the sum if or sum ifs function that means that there is some criteria in summing up the values. So in our first case we will be using the same data set which we have used for count and try to see that that how we can apply the sum if function and the sum if function in certain cases. So, in there is a question called what is the total sales which is greater than equal to rupees 10,000. Now, in order to achieve the total sales, there is a condition that those sales must be greater than 10,000. Now, in order to do so, I have to type in the sum if function. Now, in sum if function, first it is asking the range. Range means the particular criteria which is lying in a particular cell. For example, in this case the sales which are greater than equal to rupees 10,000. So, this rupees 10,000 that is the sales value is lying in C2 to C7. So, this becomes my range. So, C2 to C7 is my range. Next, the criteria. The criteria is greater than equal to 10,000. So, I want to sum up those sale values which are greater than equal to 10,000. And last but not the least, sum range. Sum range means I need to add those values which I want to see the sum of. Now, in case of this particular problem, I have to again select the selling value only. But if it would have been the number of orders, if the question would have been instead of total sales, if it would have been the number of total number of orders who have achieved a sales value of greater than 10,000, then I have to select then B2 to B7. So, in this case, I will just stick to the basics that is from C2 to C7 and close the parenthesis and hit enter. Again, we are observing that our particular uh, sales value which are greater than 10,000 is 57. If you want to solve this manually, we can easily observe that the first salesman who has sold 10,000 is greater than equal to 10,000. Again, salesman B who has sold 15,000, this value is also greater than 10,000. Next, this uh, salesman C who have sold 20,000 value of goods is also greater than 10,000 and finally, salesman E has also sold uh, 12,000 is also greater than 10,000. So, if we add up these values 10 plus 15, 25, 25 plus 20, 45, 45 plus 12 that is 57 and yes, we have obtained a sales figure of 57,000, those sales which are greater than 10,000. So, this is only for a single criteria where we have used the sum if function. But if there are multiple criteria, then we would have used sum ifs function, which we will see in the next question. In the next question, it is asking us that what is the total sales which is greater than equal to rupees 10,000 and are from Noida. Now, there are two criteria in this problem. One, we want to view those sales or we want to add those sales figures which are greater than rupees 10,000 and number two, that they belong from the Noida region. For that, we need the sum is function. So, once I have typed in the sum in sum is function, it is asking me the sum range. So, in the, in the previous function in the sum if function we have seen that the sum range was asked at the end since there was only one criteria. But now in the sum ifs since there are multiple criteria involved so excel is asking 
first only that which will be our sum range. So, in my sum range, my sum value will be the selling value. After selecting the sum range, it is asking us which is the criteria range. Now, again, my criteria range is the same that is C2 to C7 because I want to filter those sales values which are greater than or equal to 10,000. So, this is my first criteria range and my first criteria is coming up as greater than equal to 10,000. Once I close the second bracket, then again Excel is asking me what is the second criteria for you. My second criteria is the region from which the sales are belonging. So, my second criteria for the my second criteria I am selecting D2 to D7. Again, after putting a separator, I will be opening the second bracket, second braces, sorry, and I will write NOIDA and close the parenthesis. Now, while naming this region NOIDA, we have to be very careful because this is case sensitive. Sometimes it might take the values, but you should be very careful if you give a space after NOIDA because sometimes when we type, we generally commit a mistake that we put spaces. So, it will not, Excel will not recognize. You have to give the specific character according to which you have maintained in the table. If you type something wrong, then definitely it will not read and it will not be giving you the correct output. So, once I have closed the parenthesis, I have done everything right. So, I will hit the enter button and see my sales value are 27,000 which is greater than equal to 10,000 and are from NOIDA. Again, if we want to check it manually, we can also do it. See, only salesman B is having a sales of greater than 10,000 and he is also belong and that person is also belonging from NOIDA and similarly, there is another person uh, another salesman who salesman E which is also belonging from NOIDA and have a sales of greater than 12,000. So, 15 plus 12 that is 27,000 is the total sales amount. Thank you.